The United States Department of Agriculture and the Department of Health and Human Services issued new dietary guidelines, which include recommendations for babies and toddlers for the first time. All right, Dad extraordinaire, meteorologist Matt Scott, also on the parenting beat for us. Good morning, my friend. Good morning. And, uh, family, first, listen, this is a little personal story for me, and I'll tell you why on the other side of the story. But every couple of years, they change the rules. They adjust them, what's best for your kids. This is what that story is. And if you're not sure, and most parents aren't, you're going to want to take a listen. What should a child eat? It's a question that seems to always be up for debate, even if your pediatrician gives you guidelines. Things change, however, and those guidelines are updated every five years. Some things, however, will never change. Really introducing that breast milk is the best kind of food choice for an infant, at least for the first six months of life. Sonia Chowdhury is a pediatrician at Connecticut Children's Medical Center and the director of the newborn nursery at Hartford Hospital. She's walking us through the modifications. At six months, there are some, especially when it comes to avoiding allergies. Our introduction of maybe more of the higher allergic foods mm -hmm. uh, and introducing it into the diet a little bit earlier. Namely, peanut butter. Correct. Why? Correct. Now, as, as the father of a son with a peanut allergy, why, why, is it, you know, why have we done a full 180 in... in and giving a child uh, peanut butter earlier on? So, I mean, that's a great question. There was a study that was done in 2015, and the AAP guidelines kind of reflected that, that delaying introduction of the allergic foods past four to six months um, may not necessarily be needed. Changes the United States Department of Agriculture and the Department of Health and Human Services made based on new data for infants and toddlers, not just because they like to keep parents on their toes. Some things have not changed, monitoring modified sugar and keeping a healthy diet going long past childhood. Because the goal here is watching calorie limits, right? Correct, Correct. providing a variety. It should be the colors of the rainbow. And the biggest thing parents always complain about are picky toddlers. And so if you can introduce a variety, you're going to be better off getting a healthier eater later, eater later in life. All right, so if you uh, were listening, you notice there's a little tweaking, and there's constant tweaking every couple of years when they introduce yeah. this. But for parents, especially like me, and I said that I had a little personal uh, connection to this, my son has a peanut allergy, and he has it because he got into some peanut butter at a very young age back 12 years ago when the rules were do not give your children peanuts of any sort before the first year and a half. But now the rules have completely changed. Wow. So uh, they're not complicated, but you do want to stay on top of it, especially for new parents or first-time parents. All right? And these new guidelines come down every year, correct? Every, well, they come down, the, the new guidelines come down every five years. Oh, every five, so, okay. So it's, uh, it does, it's every couple of years they, they keep it settled in. you have any questions, we'll have the full list on our website or call your pediatrician. All right, thank you, Matt. Matt, taking such huge steps to keep peanuts out of his house. He's a great dad, but the snacks are separated and far away.